G'day trendsetters, today I'm coming to you from the headquarters of Bathyglin here in Italy, beautiful part of Italy. Let's go inside, they are expecting us. And here we are inside Bataglin. And this is basically a trophy room for Mr. Bataglin who won the 1981 Vuelta and 1981 Giro. And this is one of the final bikes. That livery is very well known with Bataglin. Here is his trophy case. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. This is the winner's jersey. So on the left, this is the winning jersey for the Vuelta a España. Now back when he won, this was 1981, the Vuelta came first in April and then the Giro d'Italia. Of interest, he won the Vuelta, then two days later began the Giro d'Italia and won that as well. That's a pretty amazing accomplishment. Through that door is the production facility, which we'll see soon, but this is the main stairway to the showroom. Forgive the flickering, that's from the lights, this is a timeline on the wall of some of his accomplishments, Giovanni. Now we're going to be speaking to his son, Alessandro or Alex, but look at the sterile banister. Even that is Crema Volato, which this company is very well known for. This is beautiful finish atop the steel. And this is more of his accomplishments on the wall here. I love this timeline. And there we see purple crema volato. And this is the showroom which we'll show you shortly. And we'll learn about the crema volato and that sort of thing. Now unfortunately the lights are triggering some flickering. Hi, I'm Alex, the co-founder of Officina Battaglin, and today I want to present you the, our new Portofino G. Portofino G is a bike uh, for light gravel. Uh, obviously, we have uh, our uh, chromo velato finishing. is uh, very is a characteristic of our products. And uh, as you can see, we have also our own stem, uh, our own custom stem. Uh, finish in chromo velato and obviously also the, the handlebar is in chromo velato. The, all our frame is made custom for the, for the customer and uh, we're working on the specific uh, geometry wants uh, the, the customer. Together with the customer we can, uh, we can uh, set up the right angle for the, the riding they want to do. So this is indicated more for light gravel. We have a clearance, uh, uh, maximum clearance tires of 40 millimeter. And, um, and this more is not an extreme gravel, but is a, a fast light gravel. The frame is made with the Columbus tubing. This is our GB81 uh, uh, tubing is made uh, in collaboration with, uh, with Columbus and uh, is a special uh, uh, tube uh, made to our specifications. Uh, this frame we do only 70 pieces a year and all frame we made custom. Obviously, you can have, uh, people can have just a frame set or we can also supply the complete bike. He's my father. It obviously don't need a, a lot of presentation. He won the Giro, the Vuelta and Giro in only 48 days. Here we are, we have uh, our new and latest products. Obviously, uh, is, is not uh, presented to the media right now but uh, with this visit we can unveil. And this is uh, our new e-bike. E-bike uh, always uh, made custom. We do only custom size also for this uh, uh, bike. We have a production uh, for this bike first year 
uh, around 30 pieces, only custom. Obviously, the people can select uh, the all different chromo velato finishing we have in our range. And, um, and this is our way to uh, interpret the the e-bike. We have a huge request from our customer, especially sort of uh, customer want to uh, to have some help uh, during climbing, and uh, and this uh, is uh, the perfect solution. Also, the is not a massive. Uh, uh, impact uh, of the, as we can see in the market uh, of the e-bike is more close to a motorbikes uh, than uh, e-bike. Uh, with this bike uh, we introduce our new stem and uh, especially for this model uh, we have created the stem can, um, can fit uh, also the, the starting point uh, of the engine. And um, this, uh, we have uh, all our, the, the bike in the market uh, have the, the press button is in the top tube. But when you press uh, on the top tube, uh, you don't look at the road. So we do, in this system, when you press the bottom and you want to change uh, the, the, the mode on your uh, uh, motor, you can have, uh, you cannot missing the to watch in the road, so it's much more safe, and uh, also the bike looks more cleaner. All our production is steel, and also this bike uh, is uh, steel. The tubing is from Columbus because we use only Columbus tubing, and um, yeah, also the tube is all our. Tube is customized for Columbus uh, from Columbus for us. Here we have uh, our latest uh, uh, products. We have a huge request uh, to riding more bigger tires. So we have created these products. Uh, is uh, is a products uh, oriented uh, to endurance, and uh, you can easily fitting uh, the tires. Uh, uh, 35 millimeter tires, and uh, the frame is uh, steel, chromo velato, and uh, you can uh, have the internal cable routing if you use electronic shifting, and uh, and this bike is uh, is custom and uh, also is our we call it entry level in the custom in our custom uh, products is uh, all fillet brazing and, uh, and also we have uh, the chromo velato finishing. We can say the complete bike like this, uh, we can be below 7,000 euro. With Ultegra DA2, with the carbon wheels uh, of DEDA RS4, and uh, with Ultegra DA2, full group set, with the stem, uh, with the stem uh, DEDA, carbon handbar, carbon seat post, and uh, Physique uh, Aliante. This is our Portofino Classic. Obviously, our uh, main point, uh, we're working a lot with the, the, um, the lugs, and uh, with the oversized lugs. And this is uh, just a prototype, uh, but is currently is in our range for the customer like to do, uh, to have a bike uh, with, uh, with the rim brake version. Uh, this is uh, just a testing for uh, lever in matching color, stem handlebar seat post uh, in matching color. And this is our uh, rim brake version of the Portofino Classic. Here we are in, in our internal painting line. And uh, obviously all our frame uh, is painted by hand and we use chromo velato finishing. This chromo velato is right now, they need a clear coat. So when, uh, when the color is finished, uh, is, uh, the color pop up much more. 
We have all selection of chromo velato finishing. Obviously, chromo velato is not a paint. It's a process because we need to chrome plating in full the frame. You can see here, frame ready for, for doing the, the chromo velato. And, uh, and after that, uh, we, we spray a pigment of color and uh, obviously is made uh, to our um, Specification. specifications, yes. And, uh, and we do a spray of color uh, on the frame. And uh, when the pigment of color touching the surface uh, chrome plated, uh, becoming this uh, amazing effect. You can see we can have uh, the, some testing. We still prepare some testing. This is the plate we ship to the, our customer for selecting the color. And obviously they can see in his house uh, the real color house looks like the bike. They clean uh, the frame before starting with the clear coat. This uh, and this frame is all frame waiting the new Super like super record wireless. Wow. All of them, or most of all of them, uh, waiting the new group set. Uh, this is uh, all testing frames, samples, uh, and uh, some uh, just to prepare the uh, testing some paint uh, or durability testing, uh, all these kind of things. This is a. Uh, historic uh, frame uh, repainted uh, is just a friend of my father they want to the original color and we restorage unboxing super record electronico the newest oh my gosh ah, bello. Forty-five twenty-nine. Forty-five twenty-nine. Real, real driver. Wow. Let's do a change. Beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. Hmm. Huh? Come on. Huh? Not too heavy. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is our geometry. This is the information for the jig. You can see this is the design of the customer. We selected and we suggest to the customer. And this is the information the uh, production have with uh, all the angles and everything. And now they still set up the jig for uh, the stitching point of the frame. This is a special solution for uh, the real, in English, the, the right word. Un disossidante. This is a pneumatic. You can see our flame is green, it's different respecting all other frame builders. And this is some secret. Now they welded and they check the alignment of the seat tube. You can see we have uh, the checking here. And they can check the alignment. This is the way to do the internal cable for the brake. Obviously, in this model, is on the 
the top tube. This is the old style, old school, to make the internal cable on the top tube. Because we do uh, all different, uh, also the small work uh, we do on the frame have to be precise. So we have uh, this machine example at that era is for cutting the, the bridge. The bridge, uh, you can put the bridge here. And then you can uh, cutting on the right angle in both parts is all small details uh, and this uh, this is for uh, um, cut the chain stay for disc uh, because uh, this is a special jig we have created because when we cut in the jig uh, have to be aligned there is two point uh, for alignment and this will be cut uh, on jig this machine is for cutting the hole uh, for the water bottle and this also is made in G. Seat stay cutting. This is part of uh, our process. Uh, Dario will uh, make some uh, photos uh, for sending uh, the updates to, to our customer and uh, this is very important part of the experience they can have behind the frame because people have to see every step of the frame during production. Notice how beautiful and clean this workshop is. This is a poster of Giovanni Battaglian, early 1990s. Shamar wheels. Beautiful frame. We're leaving the workshop area. And by the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, all these frames are expecting the new Campagnolo Super Record wireless EPS group set. That's it folks, that wraps up the tour today at Batiglin. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you for your visit and I hope to meet you for sure in uh, Maida in US. But uh, if you visit Italy again, you are welcome. Thank you. As always, I appreciate you watching these videos. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for factory tour videos, such as this one, no bull****, gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and of course, general madness. as all of it is leashed to the channel. I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video.